I was young and I was reckless, man. Moved out at 17 and made my mama mad. I totaled a truck I owned and then got this new truck, 72 Chevy, and I went and this thing was fast. I went and picked up a friend named Manny and uh, I, I was pedal to the metal in this truck and I went to go put it in, uh, like it was like three on the tree, so it was like low gear, mid gear, high gear. And I went to put it up in high and it slipped up in reverse. It was a rebuilt engine, so it didn't have the lock on reverse and it went straight into reverse, pop. I flipped the car six times, end over end, and uh, probably over like two to 300 yards. And I wasn't wearing a seat belt, neither was my boy Manny. And uh, I just remember landing and the car was upside down and crushed and gasoline's pouring down on us. And I'm just like, a split moment in my life, I'm like, I'm gonna die. Peeled out in my big block Chevy, lifted six times and I knew that I was ready. We did a, a performance of the APMA Awards and Machine Gun Kelly was there and I played him Crooked Teeth and he was like, this shit's dope. And I was like, check this other track out, dude. I'm looking for an MC to come uh, guest on this. So I played him the cut and he was like, dude, I need, to pl I need to play the part of the best friend that passes away. And he just got the track right off the bat. And so uh sent him the cut, he laid down his piece on it. Absolutely killed it. We had it all figured out. Pocket full of pills and a 40 in my mouth. But I never should have let my best friend drive. Cause he's the reason my child will never see me alive. Damn. Almost reminds me of something that like I would have heard Sublime do back in the day. You know, it's mm -hmm. kind of got that element too, where it's just that yeah. storyteller, matter of fact, like let me take you back to a point of my life type thing. My favorite part though is the end of the song where Jerry just like comes in with his guitar solo. You don't expect these things to happen when you're listening to a song like that and then when they come in you're like, oh okay.